السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو ویکٹر اینڈ ٹینسر انالیسس فرام ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ تھری امپارٹنٹ کانسیپٹس آف ویکٹر کیلکولس اینڈ دیز آر گریڈینٹ ڈائیورجنس اینڈ کرل دیز کانسیپٹس آر آف گریٹ جیومیٹریکل اینڈ فزیکل امپارٹنس ان فزکس انجینئرنگ اینڈ ویریس ادر فیلڈس آف اپلائڈ میتھمیٹکس گریڈینٹ میجرس the rate of change of a scalar field at a point in a region of space and divergence measures how fast a vector field diverges or goes away from a point in a region of space and curl is the measure of the curling or rotational effect of a vector field around a point in a region of space so in order to understand gradient divergence and curl it is very important to first understand the concepts of scalar field and vector field scalar field and vector field are defined in terms of functions called scalar point function and vector point function okay so first of all let us introduce the concept of scalar point function and scalar field scalar point function so a scalar point function is a function a function which assigns to each point x y z of a region or of space a unique real number or scalar phi of x y z is called a scalar point function in that region r okay so a scalar point function is a function which takes any point x y z of some region of space three dimensional space and assigns a unique real number or scalar to that point and we call that unique real number or scalar as phi of x y z okay so a scalar point function takes a point x y z of a region of three dimensional space and assigns a unique real number phi of x y z or scalar phi of x y z okay so phi is a function and this function is called a scalar point function and we can also define it as so a scalar point function can also be defined as so or if to each point x y z of a region or in space there corresponds a unique real number or scalar phi of x y z then phi is called 
a scalar point function in that region of space okay and the set of all such scalars or real numbers is called a scalar field and the set of all these functions or real numbers or scalars is called a scalar field so now let us consider some examples of scalar point functions and scalar fields examples so if we consider a function phi of x y z is equal to x cube y minus z square so here you can see that this expression is a function so it takes any point x y z of three dimensional space and assigns this real number to it okay so this is a function and this function is according to this definition a scalar point function okay and it also defines a scalar field so here if we consider any point for example so if we consider any point like x y z is 1 3 5 5 and if we apply that function phi to it according to this definition so phi of 1 3 5 5 will be equal to so x cubed times y minus y z squared this is equal to 3 minus 25 which is equal to minus 25 so here you can see that this function assigns the real number negative 22 to this point 1 3 5 3 dimensional space okay so this function is a scalar point function and it defines a scalar field okay so phi is a scalar point function and hence a scalar field so now let us have another example of scalar field the temperature t of x y z at different points within an object okay so okay so if we consider an object is a region of space okay then at each point within that fluid there will correspond a unique density so density will also be an example of a scalar point function so it will be a scalar field so now we will define a vector point function and a vector field okay so a vector point function is a function a function 
which assigns to each point x y z of a region r of space a unique vector a of x y z is called a vector point function okay so a vector point function is a function which takes a point from a region of three dimensional space and assigns a unique vector vector a of x y z to that point x y z we can also define it as if to each point x y z of a region r there corresponds a unique vector a of x y z then that vector a is called a vector point function in r okay so a vector point function has this general form a of x y z is equal to a1 of x y z i plus a2 of x y z j plus a3 of x y z k okay so since a is a vector and it is a function of x y z okay so this is expressed analytically in terms of its components a1 a2 a3 inside three dimensional space and the set of all such vectors a is called a vector field okay now let us consider some examples of vector point functions and vector fields examples so let us consider a function a of x y z a vector function a of x y z is equal to x square y i minus 2 y z q j plus x square z k so here you can see that this function is a vector point function because it takes an ordered triple or a point in a region of space x y z as an input and gives a vector as an output okay so it assigns a vector to the point x y z okay so this is a vector point function and it defines a vector field okay 
okay so this is a vector point function and hence defines a vector field okay so now let us have some physical examples of vector point functions and vector fields earth's gravitational field so earth's gravitational field is an example of a vector field similarly electric field around a current carrying conductor so this is an example of a vector field similarly the magnetic field around a magnet is a vector field and then the velocity at different points within a fluid is also an example of a vector field similarly the acceleration at different points within a fluid so these are some physical examples of vector fields okay so after studying scalar point function scalar fields vector point function and vector fields now we will define another important term which is level surfaces okay so let us define a level surface okay as we defined a scalar point function is a function which takes some point of a region of space and assigns a unique real number to it okay so for example so let us consider a scalar point function phi of x y z equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared okay here you can see that this function is a scalar point function because it takes a point of space and assigns a unique real number x square plus y square plus z square to that point so this is so this is a scalar point function and how about the graph of this function so what do you think the graph of this function will look like basically this function a scalar point function is a four dimensional function okay so this is a four dimensional function because it takes a point inside three dimensional space and assigns another real number to it so so this will become a four dimensional function or four dimensional graph so its graph will be four dimensional graph
okay so we cannot draw this four dimensional graph but if we take again here this phi of x y z is some constant like x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to some constant here for example 4 so now what this becomes is now this is a three dimensional graph so now this is a surface and what is this graph? So this graph is the graph of a sphere with center at origin and radius 2. So this is now a sphere centered at origin having a radius Okay, so if we consider a scalar point function as a constant, okay, then we get a three dimensional surface and that surface is called a level surface for that scalar point function. So let us define a level surface. So let phi of x, y, z be a scalar point function. in a region R of space then for each value of the constant C the equation phi of x, y, z is equal to c represents a surface in three dimension or a three dimensional surface. called a level surface. Of, of the scalar point function phi. Okay. So, if we have a scalar point function, okay, we saw that a scalar point function is basically a four dimensional function its graph will lie in four dimensional space okay so if we take a scalar point function as some constant then the resulting equation always represents a three dimensional surface just like this and that three dimensional surface is called the level surface for the scalar point function phi and if c is allowed to take a variety of values different values then we get different level surfaces for our scalar point function and these surfaces are called a family of level surfaces. So for different values of C, we get different level surfaces called a family of level surfaces. Dear students, in today's lecture, we studied that Scalar fields and vector fields are defined in terms of functions called scalar point function and vector point functions. So we studied 
scalar point functions and vector point functions with examples and we also studied level surfaces for a scalar point function so these concepts are fundamental concepts for the study of gradient divergence and curve and in the next lecture we will talk about gradient in detail so see you in the next lecture